Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Banks do not want war. Hello, Internet. Today is July 1st, 2014, and this is the Rambling Movie Minute, where we talk about everything movies from the week before, current, and still yet to come. I am Malenga from Pittsburgh, and uh, hey, we got Sorg. How's it going, Sorg? It's going good. I got my Transformers in over the weekend. Really excited about that, and uh, I'm really curious to see what you guys think of that, uh, and so much more. I'm loving the lineup here tonight. Nice, nice, and we have uh, Mad and Mike. How's it going, sir? It's nice to see that Transformers are paving the way for Futurama, where Bender wants to kill all humans. <laughs> yes, Transformers. Hey, so, yeah, getting right off of the box office, uh, it was a very conflicting box office, it seems. Oh, man. There are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of movie theaters saying that these numbers were lies. Really? But, uh... Yeah, saying that it was not possible that Transformers milked in this big of a weekend revenue stream. But as uh, as stated, Transformers pulled in about one hundred million dollars. Wow! And you know, and I know I was reading after I watched it Saturday night, it was on track for a hundred million. So it's kind of interesting. This is the number that pops up. But of course, we were in kind of a small town theater. Uh, so and they they said, yeah, we had, didn't have anything. Like we were talking with the manager because somebody knew it. It's a small town. Everybody knows everybody. Um, yeah. And, and he was talking about how how many people he had on, and he he just let go because nobody was there that, that day. Um, so again, weird sampling. It's in the middle of nowhere in Western New York, but. I don't know. It, it didn't feel like like there was like maybe two other groups of people uh, in the theater with us for like a ten o'clock showing. So yeah, I had I had the same. I was going to ask you guys how your showing was because one of my coworkers said the exact same thing. He said where he was at, it was like dead. Wow. The theater I was at was not even near full. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I went to a Saturday night show at the draft at the Alamo Draft House, about half full. Yeah. So I mean. Whatever. These are the numbers. And but if, if these numbers hold true, that I'm very proud of America because Think Like a Man Two dropped off 65 <laughs> percent. <laughs> Thank you. Yay, America! I assume Kevin Hart is Belgian, so we're gonna say boo, Kevin Hart. <laughs> that is true. As the numbers stand, 22 Jump Street, which I did get a chance to check out. Uh, came in about just shy of 16 million, and How to Train Your Dragon 2 is still holding, you know, in that top three spot with uh, just about 13 million. Uh, both those movies have uh, dropped 42 percent, which I mean, by statistics and the math, it seems like people from somewhere came to see this Transformers movie. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, we will get into Transformers uh, later on in the show. Uh, but moving along, guess what, guys? What? Community got saved. Yes! By the most unlikely of sources, too. Yeah. Tim Howard? No, uh, what? <laughs> Soccer joke. Uh, <laughs> community Sorry. is heading... I, I'm literally watching the game in the reflection of my iPad, so I will be making several soccer jokes. There might be a reference to Rodney Dangerfield or Jack Hay. <laughs> oh. we, you know, we are seeing like a, on your wide shot a corner of of the soccer game. I hope we don't get get in trouble with ESPN for that. So, oh, ESPN could use all the help possible. Their site keeps going down. Oh man, well, they, um, oh, well, uh, just a small tidbit. I was hearing that they had more people watching online uh, the the World Cup than the Super Bowl online. Now, granted, the Super Bowl wasn't on mobile phones and stuff. Like, I know you were just watching Malengo. Anyways, a little yeah. aside, but back to uh, community on Yahoo. Apparently, Hulu, who was in talks to bring it back, uh, passed on it, and uh, Yahoo stepped right in. So, without getting too much into 
uh, the tech angle yeah. because I know you got awesome cast. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about say, this. Hulu makes no sense whatsoever, and them passing on this holds true to that track. You know, you know what? that also. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, I was going to say, with that also being said, I am interested to see what Yahoo's going to do with this as well. This and is that's all. this is their house of cards, because just or actually, it's their Arrested Development. And, uh, truly, um, Yahoo doesn't have anything. Yahoo is not what I think of for video, but this is the perfect thing to say. Oh, okay, how do I watch Yahoo now on all my devices that I already have lined up? Right? Um, I'm unclear on that. I, I'm very unclear on like how am I going to watch this on my Xbox, on my on my Roku, on my phone. You know, I don't know because I've never done video. Maybe I should pop in there and go watch some I Justine stuff just to just to get in practice. You know, um, I, I have a question. Why was Yahoo able? To, I thought Hulu had the exclusive rights to Community. Um, this is different because they were producing. I think. Uh, I mean, we're talking kind of more syndicated kind of thing and actually okay. i mean community is on comedy central syndicated they're on netflix now as well the new episodes were on hulu plus of course but a lot of those nbc ones are so i don't think that was i don't think that's as related as you're thinking so um well no because i always assumed that netflix was going to pick them up since i th I, I, I gotta say i gotta think they're in the running but again we'll get more than the tech angle there it's really cool to see it's it's going and um I, i'm interested to see what yahoo does because this is this is going to be the beginning of a lot of original content for them, uh, so we'll have hopefully, maybe hopefully, another player in the game as far as online content. Sure, you know. Yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting. And like, without getting too much into tech talk, I also think it's weird, just in the sense that this is this is what the fans wanted in terms of a conclusion to community. Mm -hmm. So, with Yahoo picking them up, is this no longer our conclusion mm -hmm. to the series, mm -hmm. or is this? Now we venture into more ep more seasons. Yep, we're just going to so, keep going. I think I like turtles. It says uh, in the chat room says barely saved Yahoo's barely a community. No, they're not. And the point is, like I said, the point is 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 this will make a lot of people say, oh, there's video on Yahoo. Maybe I should go check that out. They did something recently where they got exclusive rights to clips of SNL uh, Saturday Night Live. So uh, you know, I, I'm thinking something similar here. But anyways, moving on. Lauren. Yeah. Yeah, moving on. Uh, I don't know if you guys were a big Chucky fan uh, growing up. I personally hated that little <laughs> doll. But uh, it looks like we're going to get a Chucky 7. Sure, why not? I still don't remember there was a Chucky 6. I don't remember there being a Chucky 3, 4, 5. Well, no, no. I remember there being a Child's Play 3 and then Bride of Chucky. And that's the last one I remember. I feel like they went 4 before that. I feel like they actually did have a four, and then they went did they Bride of Chucky, up? Seed of Chucky. I thought I thought I'm four still, was Bride of Chucky. I'm still and losing. Then, I'm yeah, still... no, it's, it says it says uh, there's Child's Play three, then Bride of Chucky, then Seed of Chucky, then Curse of Chucky. <laughs> oh, you know what? I bet that was straight to video. I bet. Oh yeah, Curse of Ch Curse of Chucky was straight to video. Okay, that makes sense then. I thought I've seen that pop up. Um, I, hey. You know, at least it's not as controversial as using a different actor for P Pinhead. You know, you got a doll. You're gonna make a new doll. I don't think the voice actor is as important for this. Um, well, they're saying that most of the cast, if not everyone, might be back for this. From what? Like Curse of Chucky? Like the <laughs> awesome cast that went straight to DVD on this one? I mean, I mean, sure. You know, that's like reuniting the Sharknado cast at this point. <laughs> Which I finally success. watched recently, by the way. And it is a hoot, man. Um, anyways, Sharknado, go check it out. It's on Netflix. <laughs> Can't wait for the sequel. Oh, Sharknado's on Netflix? Yeah, that's where I watch it, yeah, man. I, think I, saw I that. know what I'm watching tonight. <laughs> it's been on there for a bit. So. Speaking of awesome things on Netflix, I know Pacific Rim is on Netflix, but guess oh. what's slated to... Uh, oh, this is good and bad news. What's slated to come in April 7th on my birthday of 2017 Pacific Rim 2. So we get to wait a good two and a half years. <laughs> wait, your birthday is April 7th? Yes. How have we not discussed that your birthday is the day before my birthday before? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but Pacific Rim, uh, I still haven't seen the first one. Oh, you're missing out. Especially if you if you could tolerate the enormous mess of Godzilla 
then Pacific Rim would would rectify that crap of of a of a thing. But I didn't really like Godzilla. I know that's what I'm saying. Like Godzilla, you need to equal it out with somewhat of a good, entertaining Jurassic-ish robot movie. Robot, robot movie. movie? Because <laughs> I already did that this weekend. <laughs> Oh, but uh, we will we will wait for the after show to talk about that. Yeah, I, right. I get it. that. That's a wholly different animal, though. Um, you know, I, I, I'll say right now, Pacific Rim versus Transformers, way better story. Right off the bat. Yes. Right off the bat. Hey, Malengo, uh, just because I came in, I want to give a shout out to our friends. You know, you could be here enjoying this from Slice on Broadway. Hold on, it's fresh, right in the door. The pizza that Look you've talked that. to on the pre-show before. Look at that. Look at that. Great stuff. Check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. Uh, as I knock my mic over. That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> uh, really, really good pizza eating. Or uh, pizza. Uh, Sorg, movie Sorg. pizza. Hmm. Sorg. Belgium scored. Belgium scored. Son of a yes. bee. Son of a bee. Yes. Well, there's still time. Still yes, time. There is still time. Awesome. Anyways, uh, what's next? Moving on. Uh, so, moving on. Ridley Scott. I I will give Ridley Scott credit for something. We've had a lot of crappy Bible movies recently, and Ridley Scott is taking on this this challenge with a with a uh, Moses movie. And I think he could actually save it in terms of producing a movie to the mainstream. That actually will be good. Can 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 we stop with the Bible movies? I think I I would actually say after this movie I would if this movie is a flop I would say we should probably stop the Bible. Uh, the only the only I'm, movie based on a Bible that I want to see is the Book of Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only movie I want to see. Now, see, I want to see more Bible movies. I want them to, to dig into the stuff that you normally don't see. Oh, at least we know the Moses story. And okay, there's Noah. Okay, actually, Noah was kind of good because something I don't think it was touched, at least on that scale before. But there's always like a mouse on the May... No, I'm thinking mouse on the Mayflower. That's a different story. Uh, but there's some Noah's Ark cartoon I've seen at one point. So, I mean, it's been touched on. But let's, let's get... Let's Michael get... Bay presents... Proverbs. Yeah, I, well, okay, maybe not Proverbs, but like let's <laughs> let's let's hit up some Exodus stuff. Let's hit up some Genesis stuff, you know? Let's just let's just you know, there's so many untapped stories in that book, you know. It's like it's like the simulion of uh, of uh, of Bible movies. Yeah, I think if somebody picks it up and does it well, and I mean and your main lead, Christian Bell, I think you got a very good potential to have like a decent, a decently played on an epic scale type movie, if done well. I just hope he does the Batman voice for Moses. I am Moses. What? what? Wait. So you mean I can't come into this city? I just <laughs> led these people across the desert. I am Moses. No. Swear to me. Swear to the Almighty. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm excited. All right, so uh, before we get into the Transformers review and spoiler, uh, this weekend coming up in movies, the throwdown is Tammy versus Earth to Echo. Nice. Any predictions, guys, on this on this throwdown? I think personally, good. Transformers wins again. Oh really? Yeah. Certainly, certainly. Are you serious? Yes, man. absolutely. You, I like. I want to see Tammy. I think Earth the Echo eats out. I, I don't like, think it'll eke it out. I really don't nope. think it'll eke it out. But I think it, I, I think Earth the Echo will be your winner of the new guys. I, I think Tammy is too out there a concept for a lot of people to come out to. I like it, but I really feel like this is a um, uh, what was that one with Johnny Depp a little bit ago? Um, that I mean that just wasn't you know. Uh, I don't think the audience can grasp it enough to go see it. You know. You so. really think Tammy looks good? I like I like her in that character role. That I I would like... rather watch I would rather watch a marathon of Think Like a Man and Think Like a Man Two. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Like like if if I had to go to the drive-in 
and the drive-in was showing Tammy and the Winter Soldier, which I loved. And the other one was showing Think Like a Man 1 and Think Like a Man 2. And I had to go and sit through both of the movies. I would see Think Like a Man 1 and Think Like a Man 2 before I saw Tammy. It looks that <laughs> horrible. I like I like her character. I like this character that she plays. You mean and, Chris Farley with boobs? Yes, and I think that I think there will be enough jokes to carry it. But I'm not expecting like an epic movie here. I'm expecting like some general laughs. <laughs> uh, oh, it looks it just looks like the worst thing. Like, I, I know Melissa McCarthy is a talented comedian, but, God, I have not enjoyed any movie she's ever been oh, in. Oh, Tammy! I thought we were talking about Lucy. Oh, yeah, no. Okay. Oh, I was so forward. confused. I'm like, what? Me Melissa forward. McCarthy? What's happening? No, no, no. Okay, what? okay. Uh, now that we're on the same page, no. Melissa McCarthy is is just Melissa McCarthy being Melissa McCarthy again in a different movie, uh, just now with Su Susan Sarandon in a wig. Oh, okay, thank God. You scared me, Sorg. I, <laughs> I scared myself. Scared me. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, <laughs> we'll that's see, a quote. We'll see what happens. That's a quote. Uh, uh, Malengo, Malengo, I'm telling you right now, it's a trap. <laughs> I tried to warn you with the other woman. You saw that movie anyway. I know, I know. And that was that was painful. <laughs> On a note uh, from the chat room. I, I hope when you go there someone throws an apple pie at your head. What? Only only if they're wearing a paper bag when they do it. Yeah, because that's hilarious. But on a note from the chat room, uh, Chachi does point out, if you want to see Lucy, just watch Limit Limit Limitless, excuse me, same thing, less action, and with a chick, by the way. So, Well, the only the argument or defense of Lucy, I mean, we yes, Chachi's correct. Limitless has already touched upon what would happen if you could unlock your full potential of your mind. So this is really just action, right? Well, Several movies Lucy, have done this. Lucy is just Scarlett Johansson being the one. Yeah. That, yes, sign yeah. me up. Yeah. Did you guys hear the argument, though, about this movie that um, uh, Marvel wasn't too happy that she was doing this because of the setup that she might have with her own potential movie? Uh, I think it just, like, positions her as that kind of character. I think she got this movie because of Black Widow. So I, well, yeah. I think I, oh, I definitely think so. But because Marvel would want to make a Black Widow movie, it hinges on the success that she would hold up in this. Like, mm. instead of them being able to build... Well, on... she's pregnant right now anyway, right? So oh, I they... don't know. Uh, she's pregnant, I'm pretty sure, because she had to hurry up filming her scenes for Avengers 2. Hmm. So, I mean, regardless, they're going to have to wait a while before they have a Black Widow movie anyway. But yeah. if, Lucy, if Lucy does well, I think that might nudge Marvel like, hey, this can work. Mm -hmm. This can absolutely work, especially with the uh, groundwork they set in, in Avengers 2. And uh, 2. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm still interested for Lucy, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, hopefully it isn't like a... What was, what, there were like a ton of epic fails after The Matrix on similar type movies that tried to play off of that. Yeah, The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolution. <laughs> Slam. <laughs> Easiest joke I've ever made. The easiest joke I've ever made. Uh, hey, should we do what we watched before we go into the Transformers spoilers? Yes, yes. Absolutely. All right, so besides me obviously watching the Transformers, I mm -hmm. also watched Chef. And I say go watch it. If you if it's still in theaters, because I, I saw it in a smaller theater. Um, I don't think it's in the mainstream theaters anymore. 
But if you can see this movie, I, I'd i recommend it. It's pretty good. I enjoyed it. And all of your favorite actors, basically, from Iron Man are in this movie. So. Wow. <laughs> but, yes. It's so, a, is, it, is it too much to call this movie Iron Chef? Uh, yeah, because... <laughs> Oh, I do like that though. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I don't know. It's 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 warm. I hugged myself after. It made me want to go open up a restaurant and cook food. But yes, what, hey, what what did you guys watch? Uh, well, I watched uh, Transformers three before we went to go see Transformers 4 because the girlfriend hadn't seen Transformers 3. And, oh, man, is that bad. Yes. Uh, like, I, uh, it's pretty common knowledge at this point, but, oh, man, is that bad. Man. That is really, really bad. Like, just just awful. However, what wasn't bad that I saw this week was Here Comes the Boom. Oh, yeah, I, I enjoyed that movie. The Kevin James is- MMA movie. For what it is, it was pretty funny. Yeah, I, it was it was fine. Like I really enjoyed it. Uh, Kevin James, not the most predictable, like not not the most typical MMA fighter you'd ever see in your life. Well, the funny but thing it was, is, it was a good enough movie. But the funny thing is, isn't he? Because um, he did, I thought he did a wrestler one too. Isn't he? He's the one that went to high school with Mick Foley, and they were both on the wrestling team. Hmm. Like legit. So I am. So when I saw he was doing a movie like this, it really kind of made sense uh, with that. Like he's got a little bit of background, so he can be a, a little bit legitimate and you know be Kevin James. You know. Well, um, for those for those who don't know, Kevin James was on the same high school wrestling team as Mick Foley. I just said that. Oh, I missed, <laughs> I missed that completely. I missed that completely, Sorg. I'm sorry. I was watching the the trailer. Selma Hayek distracted me. That's true. Okay, that's understandable. That's understandable. But uh, but no, yeah, it, it hits on the MMA thing. It's been hot lately. Um, I it, what's it on? Um, it was on HBO or it's Stars, on HBO. one of them. So, oh, yeah, okay. it was it was on one of the um, premium channels. So awesome. Can take a take a look at that. Cool. Um, is that all you watched? Uh, yes. Yes. All right. Well, besides strength, of besides course. Strength. Of course. Uh, I saw Ghostbusters one and two again. Completely still hold up. Uh, they're both on Hulu right now. Um, and I also saw, and I was, I was one of those like, ah, I'm by myself. I'm gonna watch a movie that, you know, you know that, you know, thing that I saw in Netflix a while ago and never really got around to. The Dictator, uh, from the guy that did like Borat and and you know all those other movies. Um, a lot better than any of those. Um, instead of being like a real reality kind of thing, like like those those movies really kind of played up as a kind of jackass thing, where they actually had Bor- Borat go out and and be Borat in front of people and and get their reactions kind of hidden cam style. This is actually a written movie. Um, has a lot of great cameos. Um, uh, no 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 penises. Uh, which was a problem in every other movie. There'd be a, just a penis gag somewhere, um, unless I got a cut version or something. Um, but it it <laughs> it starts off in loving mini memory of Kim Jong Il, um, but it lampoons on the int- the whole terrorism thing. Um, and it's got uh, I can't remember the name his name right now, uh, but the guy from uh, the League, uh, the the the. Uh, Oh, the the crazy cousin, Ralphie. Yeah, Ralphie. yeah, Ralphie from the league, the one that also does. Um, how did this get made? Uh, with a couple other people from the league, so um, definitely worth it. Uh, go check it out. It's on Netflix right now for free. Um, Megan Fox makes a cameo. Heads up. Actually, I think that's her cameo right there. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, and you know what? I had not seen these extended trailers to know all the jokes going in, so maybe that's why it was so good to me. Um, so. Check it out. What about you, Malengo? Uh, I already said what I watched. Oh, that's so right. Gonna, let's let's go. Let's just let's just do it. Let's let's do this. Are we going this for it? Well, All right. So before we do the spoiler, let's just do the general 
uh, what you what you guys did you guys like the movie? Better than uh, the previous ones. Better without Shia LaBeouf. Uh, not as much odd humor shoehorned in there. Um, I still hate that all the Autobots pretty much speak in in sound bites. Like even though they're not, they they really like act like they're serving the humans, even though they're pissed at them. Um, they're like like the like the human drama, if you can call it that, in a Michael Bay movie, is happening, and there just happen to be Autobots, and maybe they'll make a weird comment. Like that is the extent of it, you know. There's like hardly any dialogue between big robots. Okay, I know that sounds really weird, but there should be in this, especially considering the source material where. It's all giant robots for the most part, and sometimes we stuck a human in there somewhere. Um, there was way too much human defeating giant robot. Yeah, yeah, there was. <laughs> there was a was lot. That, well, you can believe that with Mark Wahlberg versus uh, versus uh, uh, Shia LaBeouf, I think more too. Um, but they, yeah, it's really like we want to make it. The, the humans were one to beat them. We didn't need the Transformers in the long run. But come on. Um, I like that it did play off uh, what happened in 3 with uh, Chicago. You see in the previews, I remember Chicago, everything is basically a takeoff is because of that happening. Um, it, this is like the fallout of that happening uh, in a certain people. I was disappointed on that fallout, though. Really? They, yeah, because when they, when they say it in the beginning of the movie, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. That totally makes sense. We're going to see a decapitated you know, Chicago. Where do they go back to? They go back to Chicago. And what do we see? A perfectly fine Chicago. But it's five it's years later. Like, I don't believe... I, I moved to later. Jersey. I moved to Jersey when they were rebuilding the... Uh, <laughs> they were rebuilding stuff. And let me when tell they were, you... They were doing it, the Freedom Tower. Yes. Which still isn't done. Yes. So Still isn't done. <laughs> There's no way Chicago would have been done in five years. But continue, Mike. Um, I I did like I I thought we could have eliminated Mark Wahlberg's whole family unit, and it would have been a better movie. Nice because <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you know what? I I not that I hated all of that, but I agree. It's really kind of shoehorned into it. Well. And plus, they have two amazing human characters that I would have just liked to see them be the focus. Stanley Tucci and Kelsey Grammer. Yes. Like, have Stanley Tucci be the hero, the guys that the Autobots identify with, and have Kelsey Grammer be the big bad, like he is. Like, mm -hmm. just keep those two guys and have, like, superfluous people around them. But you didn't need Mark Wahlberg's whole shtick. And you didn't need the... The not Megan Fox chick standing with puffy lips in slow mo. Nope. You didn't need that. Nope, not really, not really. Um, but you know, yeah, but uh, I'm with you. Stanley Tucci made it. Kelsey Grammer made it. Uh, Tucci's riffing on uh, on the Steve Jobs kind of character is amazing. Um, the way that they work this in that you you had really three bad guys in the long run. Um, yeah. That was really cool. Kelsey Gram Grammer really, really glued everything together as far as that side of things. Um, I like the new character uh, with Lockdown. E everything, everything about that uh, is brand new. You know, they kind of riffed a little bit off of the, you know, uh, the Galvatron thing, which is not a secret in IMDb. Um, but the way they did it is brand new. Uh, a really nice spin on things. I, I like a lot of the concepts. I do think it's the most tolerable of the transformer movies um yeah. like it one thing one thing i still don't like mm. one thing i still don't like that they can't seem to avoid doing in any of these movies nameless decepticons always the nameless case. i know but, but this time there was a reason faces. this time there was a reason yeah and i'll grant you that but still Nameless, faceless, deceptive. You know, it was like, pointed out. It was pointed out. I was like I, I actually got a little upset when Starscream died in the last movie mm -hmm. because I love Starscream. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite Transformer when I was growing up until I saw Beast Wars. The uh, like, Starscream, Starscream is amazing. The Dinobots were great. If you weren't paying attention, you kind of missed why they were there in the first place. Um, but yes, they're yeah, because they they didn't go into that at all. No, no, they're just like. 
I mean, they, 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 like, it was like a line floated out there. Like, this is happening because X, Y, and Z, but I'm not going to tell you who's behind it. Because we're setting up no. for a trilogy, and, you know, Optimus has to do a Superman Returns thing. Uh, getting slightly <laughs> into Spoiler Zone. Um, oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we're going to go into the spoiler I, I think zone. we're about that point. Uh, anything else non spoilerly okay. we want to say, Mango? No, let's go into spoiler. All right. I mean, well, I'll, I'll just say real quick, like, I was kind of bored by the movie. Oh. Um, but uh, with that being said, there were some parts that I thought were interesting. Um, the, the, the two, uh, the, the two characters that you guys were mentioning, the, um, the yep. villain, the yeah. FBI guy, or what, the CIA guy, and the, uh, other, the other ball next Steve Jobs Stanley guy. T- yeah, yeah, yeah. Those Stanley were T-G. probably my favorite human characters. Oh, big time. And those guys just ate the scenery on these things. It was so great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there was actually, uh, the comic strip that I started to write, uh, but I was actually telling somebody my favorite part was a scene that took place on an elevator. So that's mm-hmm. just telling you my thoughts. We'll, we'll get to that in a moment. First of all, uh, Mike, you got something to do here. You are entering another dimension. A dimension of sight and sound. A dimension where Mark Wahlberg is supposedly from Texas? You are entering the spoiler zone. That was, a, that was definitely a heck of an accent for being from Texas. Yeah, that was weird. seriously. I can do a better Te- Texan accent. Texas? <laughs> well, he wasn't trying. That was the thing. Um, I, uh... Nobody had a Texan accent that was in Texas. First of all, also, love that guy from Silicon Valley popped up in this movie. Sad what happened. Oh, yeah. Him. Sad. I, 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 like, we, we're sitting there. We're just like, it's the Silicon Valley guy, and he's the same guy. Amazing. I, I mean... You know, versus the the comedy relief that we've had in the last few movies, I thought he was like the perfect comedy relief. It's okay he died because Stanley Tucci kind of could took over the comedy relief later. Again, not yeah. forced. I feel like like I feel like when I watched the second Transformers, we didn't edit this correctly. Okay, we didn't yeah. basically edit this correctly. Uh, okay, we've had robots, robot robots, blow us, blow up, blow ups. Hey, we need this guy to make a funny line here so we can remember there's people around because we want to fucking make sure you know that people are around you know it, it's so and freaking goofy one thing that always bothered me is whenever the human characters are riding inside the transformers and they get like hit or something and the human characters fly into the air and then get caught by optimus or whoever yeah yeah how does that not hurt well, you know what just just it's something from <laughs> like, the cartoon just let's just imagine that that's the thing that can happen, okay? I mean, it, no, it's kind of no. it's kind of a known thing in the Transformers universe, okay? I know, but the, but the uh, but the Transformers in the cartoon were not like giant sized robots; they were like slightly taller than the humans. Yeah, well, in some cases, in some cases, they varied. Yeah. Um, well, well but, Mike, even even to continue with that awesome comment, how about the fact that why are they? Why is Mark Wahlberg even steering? The vehicle, like that always. Makes me laugh. <laughs> I didn't pick up on that. <laughs> I did not pick up on that. Why is Shia LaBeouf? Like I could understand Shia LaBeouf and, and with the Bumblebee because Bumblebee it was kind of like you know yeah, Bumblebee was his car. Like that yeah, was... yeah. But yeah, it just it's it's like oh we got a transformer. It's, and I'm just and why does no one now. question that there's a giant like half of a pickup truck? Inside of a movie theater. Why is that not questioned? Oh, yeah, that kills me. Like, like, wait, like you a, just see there's it. There's no, like, destroyed back wall or anything. There's just like, whoa, mortar shells. What happened to you, fella? Like, <laughs> how about, how the fuck did it get in the movie theater in the first place? That's what I want to know. Oh, man. Yes, I agree. Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Sadly, I thought he would somehow save this movie, but as my comic strip that I'm working on sums up, I feel like there's a checklist that Michael Bay just has to go down, mm-hmm. and he's like, all right, big Got explosions. It. Got it. Yes. Got it. Uh, massive epic scene. Yeah. All right. Hey, hey, hey. I need, Awkward I need low to... shot of a of a in-storyline 17-year-old, by the way. Yes. Check. Yes. 
Yes. Puffy, puffy but, girl. But in Sorry. real life, she's 19, so it's all I'm good. I'm sure, but come on. You're just like, hey, here's a I, shot of her crush. Sure. Oh, why are you wearing that? You're 17. Oh, shoot. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. It's Texas. It's Texas. That's how they go. Romeo yeah. and Juliet law, which is apparently a thing. Hey, comment from the chat room. I like turtles, says. My favorite line is uh, by TJ Miller. Uh, you can't own people, not for a long time, not even yeah. in Texas. <laughs> that was really good. There were, there were some good liners. That, there was just, like, generally better writing in this one. Better, be, All right, better dialogue in this one. I do want to say that Mark Wahlberg wasn't horrible. No, no, no. But no, not he by wasn't any horrible means. by any st- He was a definite increase. Improvement from Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. Definite improvement. But the story didn't need him. No, absolutely not. The story did not need him. But uh, can we can we talk about how awesome John Goodman is a freaking Autobot? <laughs> yes. 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 That was funny because I kept hearing his voice. About that. Everything about John Goodman is an Autobot. Can we get all the cast members from Cheers to be to just be the Autobots in the next movie? <laughs> we got two of them in this want, one. I want Woody Harrelson as an Autobot. I want Rhea Perlman as an Autobot. Wait, wait, wait. John, John Goodman's Andy not from DeVito. Cheers. You're, you're thinking of somebody else. John Goodman's from Roseanne. I am thinking of John. Yeah, I'm you're, But you're thinking of Kelsey Grammer kind of threw up. But, you know, while we're at it, why don't yes. we just do that anyways? Yes. So. Everyone, just, just all the, from John, from Cheers and Roseanne. Just have all them voice the Autobots and the Decepticons. <laughs> Cheers versus yeah, Roseanne. Right. I want. I kind of want to see that now. A very grumpy Roseanne I, Autobot. I could see them doing that. They. Uh, I did love that Galvatron's back to the original voice actor for Megatron. Um, what did you guys think of the sideline of the re-rise of the Decepticons in this one? Um, Aren't they well, all dead again? No, no, they got away. Yeah, well, one I thought just well, Megatron. Well, got I know Gal. I know Galvatron did. Or Galvatron. All the, yeah. ones, all the other ones died. Yeah, I thought I. That's what it made it seem like, at least. But we've also established that that more can be made, and plus the fact that just like the cartoon, random transformers will pop up that you didn't know were there, and the ones from the last movie that didn't die just kind of disappeared. Yeah, like how did Ken Watanabe get into two basically kaiju movies this summer? Magic, because he's the he's the uh, the Japanese Autobot, uh, and I also have a problem with the Japanese Autobots. <laughs> yeah, what the I mean, heck? That was like um, weird, but I think they were just trying to hit all the all the stereotypes. Oh yeah, and for those wondering why it ended up in China, for in Hong Kong, uh, apparently Transformers Three did big numbers in China, so we started adapting the movie to play big over in China again, and apparently on top. You go ahead. My face checklist. There you go. They oh, got the checklist. Like, really, it is. It's like it's a, it, it is formulaic movies to the T. Um, yeah. Oh, he was like, oh, I need a big actor. Well, let's see. Shia LaBeouf's out. Oh wait, I just did a movie uh, with with Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, let's bring him back. He works. He brought now, big numbers in. Now, now you know. Side ahead. note. That could lead to The Rock voicing Unicron. Oh I'm okay my with God. that. That'd be that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the thing they got. It. I'm I'm thinking this whole the creator lockdown was sent by uh, the creator of the Transformers and we were apparently recollecting them that started you know have been uh, ravaging the universe with this war. Um, and like I said, Optimus kind of does his Superman Returns thing where he goes off uh, to find their origin. Uh, and and it's got to be Unicron. We got two movies, right? Like they are saying this is a new trilogy. Uh, we will have a five and six. Sure. That angers me. That angers, angers you? Me Why? So much. Why? Because this movie should not have brought in a hundred million dollars. Yeah. Great no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not even about a market. I think it's just just oh, it's big great kids market. like me all going to it. You know, and oh, the little geez. kids now buying the new toys. No, that's no, that's Malengo, what's happening. Do you know why this movie did a hundred million? Well, because they probably pulled in the I'm gonna no. say they pulled in the China market, but No, no, Dinobots. Dinobots. That's the reason. That is the reason. I'm with And them. the Dinobots were only in it for about 20 minutes. That's right. And it's worth it. And it was an amazing 20 minutes. And I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy. I, like, they didn't even say the name Grimlock. They never do. You never know who any of these guys are until you look later oh, on the toy. Oh, that is a lie. That what? is a lie. Grimlock always says Grimlock. 
I don't what think they Austin spoke the English. Group? Was yeah. the problem? Sorg, I was at the Alamo Draft House. Okay. Okay. They showed clips of the old cartoon Dinobots beforehand where Grimlock spoke. Well, I'm saying in this fuck... one, in this one, there's no reason for them to know English. Yeah, but they call they um called out the name of one of the other Dinobots. Like they could at least say Grimlock leading the Dinobots. You know, they didn't say the word Grimlock. You know. They didn't say matter. the word Dinobots. It doesn't matter. I, that and that I, I think is also. I mean, it's unfortunately. I'm at odds because I'm like, ah, they don't treat any of the source material with any respect. Kind of the X-Men problem, right? Although I don't think any of these are as bad as X-Men Last Stand. Um, but then again, this is a toy company. And we're, we have obvious sponsorships getting destroyed uh, with this. Uh, you know. I, but that's where I think, that's where Michael Bay, I mean, like, because we talked about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles last, last week. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, alright, I was excited about that movie. But it's starting to get to a point where, like, I felt like, personally, J.J. Abrams had a track record of specific kind of movies that he made, and then he kind of diverted it, and now I'm not, like, I'm not looking for, which we saw in the last Star Trek, we're not seeing that crazy, you know, lights everywhere, the, the typical J.J. Abrams. Mm -hmm. With Michael Bay, I feel like we're getting that checklist, and yeah. because of that checklist, it's you can't go into... Nobody can go into these movies. And, and I, got, I also gotta say, story. I mean, there are Michael Bay movies that aren't that bad. I love the like the Pan and Gain, for instance, right? But when he goes and does these kinds of movies, um, I think there's just a, uh, hey, it's robots, we kind of got a story, um, this is gonna make money. Uh, we don't really have to try hard, and there you go. Uh, let's wrap this up with some final thoughts. We do have to get out of here so we can start up some awesome casts as well. Uh, what were your last thoughts? What's the wrap-up thoughts uh, you want to leave us with, uh, Mad Mike, on this movie? As far as, especially as far as see it, don't see it. Um, uh, are you happy you went to see it? Uh, what do you think? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it it's probably my favorite Transformers movie besides the first one. Mm -hmm. um, I saw it in three... He was fine. Um, it it wasn't that hard to follow the action, which was nice to see mm -hmm. in a Michael Bay movie. Yeah, because that was one thing that the other ones had a serious problem with. Yes, had a serious serious problem with. Like the the last movie tried to make it like Mortal Kombat, where you were ripping out spines and everything. But this one, it was very easy to follow the combat, probably because most of the Transformers were destroyed in the third one, mm -hmm. or in the beginning parts of this fourth one. But yeah, I would definitely go see it. Um, I don't know if I'd see it again in 3D, uh, but th the 3D was fine. So if anyone wants, if anyone wants 3D movies, but is worried about it, it was absolutely fine. What about you, Mango? Um, I mean, I would say if you're into Transformers franchise, I'd go see it. But I definitely would not pay full price for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nor would I see it in IMAX or 3D. Um, Personally, for me, like I like seeing a movie that has a good mix of action and story, and I thought this was just way too much action, not enough story. Uh, there are elements of it that are good, and because of that, I say save yourself the money and go see it matinee. All right. And, of course, I am the Transformers fan resident here. Um, enjoyed it for what it was. I'll always never be 100% with these versions of it, but I can at least say, at least because of these movies, I did get Transformers Prime. And if you want a good Transformers, that's on Netflix. Go watch it. You'll be a lot happier for it. And you'll wish that's what the movies were like. Uh, so with that, Malango, take I, us home. I have, a, I have a feeling we're going to say that about the Ninja Turtles movie and the new Ninja Turtles cartoon as well. We'll see. They're still home. We'll see. <laughs> I want to point out, produced by Michael Bay, not directed. So we'll I see. Know, I, thought, I thought I checked it out last week. I, I think it did say direct. Oh, wait. You're yep. talking about... Ninja Turtles. 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 Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah. So tell us about the movies that you're watching. We're gonna wrap the show up. Uh, make sure you check us out on Facebook. Uh, we have a group on there at the Rambling Movie Minute, and uh, you can always check out my site, um, the Rambling Review, or that Rambling Review, <laughs> or uh, follow me at Twitter. Uh, where can we find you guys, Mad Mike? Uh, I am at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machines, and if you 
are going to see Tammy this weekend and you need to be talked out of it, <laughs> tweet me. I will give you many reasons why you shouldn't see it. You're the guy. <laughs> you are the guy. Sword. I'm at Sorgatron. Check me out at SorgatronMedia.com. All the shows that we're doing, of course. I'm around the nets. I'm doing things. Having some fun. All right. And with that, have a great movie weekend. And uh, we'll, we'll ramble next week. Mm -hmm.